Here we are at the new festival attraction, and it's different, isn't it? Because it's not outside and we're not muddy in a, in a field, is it? it? Exactly, this is the perfect alternative for urban livers. Yeah, in <laughs> the think. middle of London. In London, was yeah. Was that always the idea behind it, from the start? So, well, no, I mean, the idea was really just to be able to put on a really great day of entertainment and to connect it with all the sort of different destinations where Eurostar goes, so to be able to go and pick up artists from Amsterdam and Paris and Belgium and, and, uh, and the UK and just have a big party, really, and uh, celebrate everything and have a great sort of use of an amazing new spot, you know, because obviously Granary Square's just opened up a few months ago. We're the fortunate um, people to be able to use it for the first time, and uh, it is concrete. I mean, there are normally fountains, but the fountains are coming from above today. Um, but yeah, so it should be great. I'm really looking forward to it. So yeah. tell us a bit more about the Eurostar involvement. So that's that's the vibe behind it. Go get on the Eurostar, pick everyone up on the way, and bring them to St Pancras. Yeah? A, a little bit like that. And I, also, the thing is for me is quite interesting is that I do radio shows in all the different cities that Eurostar goes to. So you know, whether you're in Amsterdam or in Cologne or in Paris, I'm on different radio stations in all those spaces. So my brain was like, why don't I do a festival? I should hook up with Eurostar. It all makes total sense to do something, and it's worked out really well. We called it Traction, and. Uh, Luckily, there's a lot of good artists all over Europe. It's not just the UK or yeah. Paris, you know, so we've got a pretty high-end um, selection of artists performing. Well, why did you choose London as the place to do it? Because there's probably sun in Paris or in some of the other destinations, but come to London, why did you choose here? It's all a bit Northern European. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not <laughs> quite sure. I mean, the idea is maybe next year we can go to Avignon because Eurostar goes there yeah. and that's more guaranteed. Um, but I just did the festival in the south of France. I do every every year myself called the Worldwide, which we came back from last year, and it rained last week oh, there yeah, as well. <laughs> so <laughs> it's not completely. Yeah, yeah, but, but I mean, yeah. Funnily enough, London is less rainy than Brussels or Amsterdam. People think differently ah. because what happens is it picks up more rain as it goes over the Channel. I see. see? Okay, so you so, thought about it. all of this. Oh, it's all it's all coming to play. All, yeah. yeah. to play yeah. Very weather based. Isn't it? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really put a lot of thought into that. I've even got a good song by Blossom Deary because it always it always rains in London. Every town. little detail. I'm playing it today. <laughs> um, is it not just then a big ploy so you get free travel on the Eurostar? Really? If of course. Honest. I mean, inevitably. I mean, I go there a lot, and um, I need I need my squeeze. You know, I need my little regular squeeze. Yeah, you got <laughs> to tell us about the artists here today as well. So you've been around. Did you, have you been to you've been to all those uh, places? Sort of check them out there. And you want? Why did you want to bring the artists yeah. you've chosen today? Yeah, I've performed with them all before in one way or another, heard them, seen them, done gigs with them, and I just took the cream, really. So, obviously, Ghost Poet from the UK, somebody okay. signed, signed to my label. Mm -hmm. He got nominated for a Mercury Prize last year. He's grown and grown as an artist, a great representation of UK sort of, you know, vo um, spoken word and, and rap culture. Um, Brown Brow Frick, they're an amazing group from um, Cologne. Um, they kind of follow through in the traditions of craft work and that early sort of kraut rock and 70s sort of electronic music. And we've got them together with one of the finest all-rounders from the UK called Jamie Liddell, who's um, signed to Warp Records, and so they're going to do something special for us today. Baloji, he's coming from the sort of Congo. Obviously, there's a big Congolese um, crowd who live in Belgium, um, from Kinshasa. So he's going to bring that more African, tropical sound um, to our thing with some special dancing um, performances going on with his set. Um, who's the other one? Um, oh, Benny Sings, who's brilliant. <laughs> and he's like, he's my favourite. He's the most, it's really weird because last week I was at Radio um, 6 Music. I worked there and the security guard came up to me and goes, do you know Benny Sings? I said, how come you know Benny Sings? And he was like, he's my favourite. I was like, that's so weird. Come to the gig. And he's one of those kind of cult artists. He sounds a bit like uh, Michael Franks, who's a 70s American sort of soft rock jazz guy. But he's done it in a sort of modern electronic way and he's great. He's just somebody I want people to discover. Um, I think that's it, isn't it? Yeah. And Sebastian Tillier, who's you know hot from his um, latest video show, which you should check out. First time, first time you do anything, any nerves, or is it all sort of settled out? Is it all ready what, to go? Him or me? Oh, the, no, you, you, uh, no, no, I'm totally the fine. No, because I just did, I just did six days in a row in, um, of, of even more bands, you know, per day in France. So this is, um, this should be smooth as. Um, Smooth as um, you know, as but that yeah. bo bottle of rum I'm going to drink later. On. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us, last thing, it's quite a cool style to the festival. There's, there's it's a, you know, have you thought about other stuff? What else can we see here? There's going to be quite a lot of performance. There's this um, sort of pedal power peep show, which yeah. um, is quite quirky. And um, yeah, I'm going to go and investigate myself in a moment. But okay. it looks like there's some good stuff happening. Wicked. Thanks so much for for chatting to us. Yeah, brilliant. Cheers, man. Cheers,